Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I clean up the sides of my beard, essentially where like the mass of my beard meets my head hair. And I know some of you are like, dude, it, it looks fine. What are you doing? You don't want to touch that. I don't like to have such a huge difference between my, my head hair hairs right here that are short. And then you see how long these guys have gotten. I haven't cut them in a few weeks be, because of this video. I've been kind of leading up to it. And so what I want to do is transition from the beard into that and kind of go nice and easy. I'm not going to be touching the sides. not going to be touching any part of the beard. I never actually touch much of this at all. I usually trim from the bottom and then just from the sideburns. And so I'm also going to show you how I clean up these pesky little hairs right here. Very simple trim and uh, I don't think there's much to it, but some people have asked, so I might as well. And today what I'm going to be using, oh, by the way, please hit the thumbs up to show YouTube you like this. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Uh, my name's Dan, by the way. And what I'm going to be using today are the Babyliss Pro trimmers and clippers. And these were sent to me quite a while ago by this company. They did not pay me. This is not paid. They don't know I'm making this video. It's not sponsored, yada, yada, yada. Uh, you know, just got to cover the bases for all the people that like to insinuate or assume nefarious intentions. Uh, these are absolutely amazing. Barber quality, pretty expensive for the home user. But if you like something that's great, these are absolutely great. And what I'm going to be doing is I transition between guards. I'm going to be starting with a three guard from Babyliss, then going to a two, and then going to a 1.5, and going to a one. Do I follow that religiously? No. But I wanted to give you guys some like actual numbers for the video. Normally, it's just kind of a feel thing. I don't write it down. I just kind of go like this and say, all right, yeah, that's going to be about how much I want to take off. And then I'll do the same on the other side. I'm probably going to show you guys this side today uh, because it's just the same trim on the other side. So first start by locking this bad boy in. Um, these do have adjustable uh, lengths here that you can do. I'm gonna start with it all the way to the, the highest setting, meaning that it's gonna give me not as close of a cut as if I were to lower it. And so we're gonna see it, so I'm gonna do this. And here's the key thing is finding where you wanna start and really being committed to it. So my mass is right here. This is what I really wanna take off. And I'm going to be very light and I'm going to transition here and I'm not going to go with it too crazy already. Like I could stop now and it's significantly better, like significantly better, but I'm going to go up a little bit, make sure I got it all covered. All right. And I love that cut down here is perfect. Right there is perfect. I dang near don't really even need to do much more than that, but I'm going to take the two and I'm going to clean it up a little bit higher. So if you notice, I started that at a particular spot down here. I'm going to do the two even higher than that and transition it into the head hair. Go up here. And this really is like a sideburn test or a sideburn trim rather than a beard trim, rather than a head hair trim. It's kind of where they all come together. And so, like I said, I'm, I'm not even religious with these numbers that I use. I really like where that's at right now. My gosh, that was simple. Uh, again, guys, I went with a three guard. I went right at that spot. Now, when I get ready in the morning, a lot of you have experienced this. When my hair is longer, I get those waves. I get a mass that's coming here. Now... That's just a nice, beautiful transition. I, I'm not even gonna drag it out. That's it. That's all I'm gonna do on this guy. Looks really nice. A good way for me to tell how, how good it is is kind of run it over this way. If I have guys that are hanging over a little bit right here, then I'll address them. If not, I think I'm good. Man, that was easy, guys. I feel like it was a little anticlimactic, but hey, it's real. Now, what I do for the ear is I go in with this, and essentially I just go around and I just use this little T liner to, to clean up the ear. I'm gonna look over here for you guys. Okay, looks good. Now, is this a textbook professional 
method. I don't know. It works for me. I always do this. See how much cleaner that line is now. It's off of my ear. See how smooth that transition is, baby. Oh, I like it. I like it. Hey, let me know down in the comments, questions, thoughts, experiences, differences that you do. Let me know, guys. This is how I clean up my sideburns. Nice and easy. Thank you, guys. Please stay bearded and stay positive.